Hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be working on using the lasso tools um, to create this image, okay, to create this graphic. In this graphic, there is a background, which is this, and I selected the girl, this girl using the lasso tools along with the, with the mic, and then just moved it over this background, okay. Now there are three kinds of lasso tools. For all, for all lasso tools, uh, there is one common thing and we'll talk about this. So let's select the, um, the freeform lasso tool, that's the lasso tool on top. And here, let's draw a selection. Okay. So using this lasso tool, uh, you know, when you're making a selection, you need to be real good at drawing and you need a lot of control and patience. Uh, now, um, when you're drawing with lasso tools, any of the three lasso tools, and you select some area you know which you shouldn't have selected you can remove that area by selecting that you know uh, area you want to remove from the selection by pressing option and making that selection so here when you press option you notice that a minus sign emerges at the bottom of the lasso icon and see here that uh, you know that area has been removed from selection uh, suppose you left some area out which you wanted to select you could have pressed shift and then you know drew around that selection and that selection gets added to the old selection okay it works pretty much the same way with <coughs> with um, all the lasso tools okay now let me give you a demonstration of polygonal lasso tool with polygonal lasso tool uh, you can create uh, straights uh, you can create uh, selections which involve you know a lot of straight lines you know you can also select curves for example let's try to select the curve of this bottle here see here here and then you can just keep on clicking you know every time you click it just creates a straight line as a selection okay and you'd notice that and when you double click it um, you know it um, adds the point where you are to the original point of the selection from where you started okay so uh, but for this selection uh, we'll use magnetic lasso tool magnetic lasso tool is a more intelligent lasso because it and this is this one in the bottom okay uh, magnetic lasso tool actually identifies the edges of contrast and it selects those edges kind of automatically you know so let's uh, start from here so I have the magnetic lasso tool selected and um, there are two settings here which you should be um, you know which uh, may be useful in many times so one is width 10 pixels here so the width tells you how far the lasso is going to look from the point where uh, your mouse is to look for edges okay um, and the second is contrast so if you have a high contrast setting you know if the object you are trying to select from uh, from an image uh, is uh, like you know it's pretty different or pretty identifiable pretty separate from background uh, you know then you can use high contrast however if the background is not very different from the original image so for example if we had a white background then probably a low contrast setting uh, would have been a better option so now let's uh, start selecting the girl here. So here I click first and then I'm just, you know, taking my mouse, hovering my mouse close to the, you know, close to the boundaries of the, of the speaker's dress. And see, I just keep on just dragging my mouse close to the boundary and it automatically keeps on making the selection. Okay. And see. And that's the only thing I have to do. I just have to make sure that I keep dragging my mouse close to the edge of the, you know, of the object I want to select. Here. And I just keep on dragging it. It's doing pretty fine till now. And you don't need to be a really good artist to get this right you know you just need to keep drawing keep hovering your mouse close to the edge 
which you want to select and see here I'm getting a real nice selection you know the mic is uh, the the contrast between the mic and the background is real high so it's real easy to select and you know I kind of miss some area at the pedestal of the mic but uh, let's not worry about that right now because I'll come back and <clears throat> uh, add that selection to the existing selection when, once I'm done with this. So here, see it's pretty easy, it's going pretty smooth and I'm just, I just keep on drawing, I just keep on dragging my mouse and here I don't want table so you know, I'm dragging my mouse here and see when it comes to the original point you know from where you started selection um, you will see a small circle at the bottom of the magnetic lasso icon which would say which would you know essentially indicate that um, that the selection is closed now at that point you leave your mouse and um, you will see that the selection has been made for you. Now let's just um, look at the selections once more and see if we missed something. All right, so here at the bottom, I think I missed, um, you know, I missed some, uh, some area here and I want to select that area. So let's add some selection to it. Now, uh, one thing which may prove very useful is that you know different lasso tools can be used with other lasso tools so uh, I now selected the the polygonal lasso tool and I press shift and you notice that the plus sign appears at the bottom of the uh, lasso icon and I select the pedestal here okay. And then when I <clears throat> when I come close to the original point, I double click, and the polygonal lasso got the selection complete, which got added to the original selection. Okay, so now it seems like I have a pretty good selection. There is some area being left out here, and probably some extra area being selected here, and that doesn't look very linear. And this one, so. Uh, let's use the freeform lasso tool to do that okay so here let's press shift and I'm just drawing close to the edges and that selection got added to the shirt and here I want to remove this you know this kind of uh, yellow area which doesn't look very good but uh, let's make it a bit bigger so I'll press on the zoom tool and I drag it over the mic here and that makes the mic a bit bigger and now you can see the area which was left out so now I press I select the you know the freeform lasso tool again and now I have to remove this yellow area so I press option and I using my drawing skills I just make the selection close the selection and you'll notice that you know that area has gone out of picture uh, has been removed from selection now I can just uh, zoom out by pressing command minus okay so I press command minus and this is how it looks so the selection looks pretty good now now I'll just select the move tool okay and click on this uh, click on the selection and I drag it over uh, to the uh, to the background okay and here I leave I, <clears throat> I release the click and it's um, still coming um, so now you have the image here but it's too big because it was originally a pretty big image so now I just you know kind of drag it down so that I can see the handle you know which was um, so here you see the handle at the corner of the selection you press shift and you kind of drag it down to make it smaller and it got a bit smaller 
but it seems that uh, you know there might be a lot of dragging to do so when you click on the handle you'll see that the transform controls up here show up so I just click on maintain aspect ratio so that the length to height ratio doesn't uh, go bad and I reduce the size to 40 percent okay and then I click uh, return now uh, it seems that the image has become so small that it has gone out of picture but then I press com command uh, minus which kind of zooms uh, lets me zoom out and then I drag the girl over here it seems that I might uh, have to make it a bit more smaller so I make it smaller using the move tool I bring it up here and this is how it looks now um, you know when you use uh, yeah, transform tools when you vary the shape you have to apply the transform so I click here and the transformation has been applied here now I want to see it at 100% so I select uh, this option here and I click on 100% and this is how it looks now however I think that it might help to make it a bit more smaller so I press the shift tool again and drag it down a bit and then I kind of place it like this and I hit enter because uh, <clears throat> that would accept the transformation and there is your image okay uh, so there is your final graphic so that's pretty much it um, I hope it helps uh, thank you